Hello and welcome to Rita's Wonders Doll Collection and Crafts. I'm Rita and this is my channel. I am just starting this channel out. I am new. Um, I've been trying to get this thing started for a long time. But I am having technical difficulties with the whole downloading, editing, computer stuff. I'm not really tech savvy that much, but I do love to craft with dolls and collect stuff for dolls and just plain collecting dolls. So today I have found one that is amazing. It is a Canadian Tim Hortons hockey doll and I found it at my local Toys R Us in Winnipeg. This is the box. As you can see, I've already removed her. But you can see that it has an amazing uh, scenery in the back there of the ice, like an ice rink. It says Barbie, Tim Hortons on it. Signature Barbie doll. On the back of the box, you can see her uh, name Barbie and her number 64. And it says, Tim Horton's Barbie doll inspires girls to explore their limitless potential and encourages them that they can be anything, including a hockey player. Get on the ice with Barbie as she suits up with her Tim Horton's hockey jersey, grabs her helmet and hockey stick, and hits the ice with her team. It's game time, so she enters the rink and with a whoosh skates across the ice and works with her teammates to get the puck towards their goal. She is a brand new doll from the 2020 collection and a black label collector. So this down here is Tim Horton himself. Um, he was alive from 1964 to 1989. Um, but he developed this uh, in coffee chain restaurant that specialized specifically into coffee and donuts and other fast food items. It is Canada's largest quick service chain. As of December 31st, 2018, he had a total of 4,846 restaurants in 14 countries. That is pretty amazing. And the company headquarters is based in Toronto. Toronto, Ontario. That's in Canada. That's right. So, without further ado, let's bring her out. So this is the new Tim Hortons doll. She comes with this helmet that does come off. It flips up and down, which is pretty awesome. Has a Canadian maple leaf right there on the hat, on the helmet, sorry. She's got her number 64 and long hair and the Barbie and the 64 on the back of her jersey. It closes at the top with some Velcro on both sides so you can get her in it. She also wears a pair of black high-waisted elastic top hockey shorts and has long red socks that are probably supposed to go up a little higher, but we can fix that later these really amazing hockey skates love them she also comes with a hockey stick where am I in my camera there sorry hockey stick that says Tim Hortons on it and has the painted on top which is really amazing and she also comes with this very tiny please try not to lose it hockey puck It does come with a stand so you can display your collector doll on the stand like so. Can you see that better now? There we go. And she comes with this certificate of authenticity. It certifies that your Tim Hortons Barbie doll was created through the collab collaborative efforts and of designers and artists at Mattel. Black label Barbie signature all. It's pretty amazing. Um, she does come with a basic five points of articulation, so only at the hips, the shoulders, and the head. 
But uh, for a hockey player, I would have liked to see her in a made to move body, which would have made her uh, better for posing for pictures and such. But you can still get some pretty good pictures taken with uh, the five points of articulation. But who knows, maybe in the future I'll swap her with uh, a made to move doll. We'll see what happens. But as of now, this is the beautiful, beautiful Tim Hortons doll. If you would like one, you can order them online or you can go check out a Toys R Us if you have one in your area. I know the ones in the, in the States are all shut down, which is very, very sad. I'm sorry to hear that, guys. But I'm glad I still have my Toys R Us. <laughs> Thank God for that. Um, but yeah. If you like this video and want to see more like this, you can comment, subscribe, like, and you guys can follow me and hopefully I can get up some more videos and learn the editing process and maybe make a little a couple of better videos. But this is my this is my trial. I wanted to really share this with you guys, so thanks for watching. Bye.